Coming up on the What I Needed to Hear series, episode four. And if y'all are expecting what you usually hear with the, oh my gosh, like take a bubble bath, like oh my gosh, like have some tea in the morning. We're not doing those things. I'm telling you the real deal, the real habits that I use to get myself to where I am today. Hello, hola, bonjour, et to sing. My name is Electra, and welcome to the What I Needed to Hear series, where I teach you everything I wish I knew sooner. Oh, okay, intro. <laughs> okay, professional. <laughs> so, as you can see by the title, Self Love Habits for Dummies, 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 dummies. episode four. Clearly, we are going to be talking about self love. Okay, so I really, really, really wanted to share my self-love habits with you because I was looking through my phone, right? Uh Uh-huh, and just take a look. Bitch, do it. 50 squats in morning and before you go to sleep, ho. Up workouts in morning and night, bitch. Go to the gym at least three times a week, fucking bitch. Never have less than 50 in your bank account, broke bitch. Save for your car, bus riding car. Yeah, that gets to get. And I realized that I've actually grown to love myself so much over the years when I didn't really love myself that much back in the day. So hopefully by the end of this video, you get a couple tips that'll help you on your self-love journey. (laughs) And before I forget, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay, because why y'all watching and not subscribing? What is y'all on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the like, and leave a comment. Let me know if you're from TikTok Live or not. Okay, okay. Let's get on to point number one. Self-love letters. I used to do this quite often, and one time, I... One time! I took it as far as to mail the letter to myself so that one day I would randomly get mail and be surprised with the letter that I wrote to me. So it's like, oh my gosh, someone loves me that much to send me a letter and the someone is me. (laughs) I feel like it is so important to write yourself love letters because it is one thing to know in your head, oh yeah, I love this about me, oh yeah, I love that. But it's a whole other thing to have some hardcore proof, hardcore copies of all the things that you love about you, okay? If you need an example, I have one for you. Dear Electra, I love how you've been so consistent with your new series. The what I needed to hear! Series, you are such an inspiration. Guys, I love how you've been prioritizing the gym. You make it look so easy. <laughs> I do. Cue video. <laughs> I love and adore you. I can't wait to shower you with all my love and gifts. You are one of a kind. (laughs) Oh my gosh, I think I need tissue. You are the baddest. Stay blessed. I love you, cute ass. Now that was just an example of a love letter that you could write for yourself. Obviously, you don't need to copy this. Do whatever works for you, like I said in my last episode. If there's any more of a time to be confident and to gas yourself up, it is now. Because I know there's some people who are like, like I'm gonna shut up my even that pretty or like, I'm not one to gas myself. But no, when you're writing this letter, you are gassing yourself to the fullest, even if you don't believe it. This is the time to show yourself so much love, so much admiration, so much attention. So on the days where you're feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't feel like cute today, or oh my gosh, I gained two pounds today, you can just open up that letter, read it, and boom, 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 boom. You get reminded of how amazing you are. Okay, so when you're writing these love letters to yourself, be for real and get deep. Don't just talk about your looks, talk about your personality, talk about your attributes talk about your traits talk about your habits talk about literally anything anything there is to admire about you talk about it in the letter number two reread them often I'm not saying sit there all day every day reading a love letter you wrote to yourself that would be a little conceited maybe a little narcissistic I don't know but you reread them when you're not feeling that good about yourself open up that letter to remind yourself that you are that girl or you are that boy okay it is just such a nice like thing to have as a reminder that you're amazing like who doesn't want to remember that they're amazing hello (laughs) the next point is write them often you could have one but why would you have one we could have 10 
10 different love letters directed to yourself? It's just gassing you? Like, oh my gosh. The next point I have here is write like how you would want your crush to write to you. For this exercise, it's important to kind of like step out of you and look at you from an outsider's perspective. What would you want your crush to say to you? What would you want your crush to text you? What would you want your crush to think about you? Like the point of this letter is to remind yourself that you are amazing and you deserve love and you're worthy and you're beautiful and there's so many things that you can remind yourself of, okay? This letter is all up to you. There's no right or wrong way to do it as long as you make sure your intention is that whenever you read this letter, you feel like that baddest bitch alive, okay, okay. Next point! So number two is self-love lists. Super easy, super simple. You write three sentences or as long as you want. You write down three things that you love about yourself. It could be anything. It could be, I love my eyebrows, I love my kneecaps, and I love my booty cheeks. It could be literally anything. But every single day, consistently write three things that you love about yourself. At the end of the month, go back to day one and then just read all of them. When you read that, you're gonna be like, damn, I am very lovable. There are many things to love about me and I cannot be wasting my time time with none of these heifers. When I was doing this, I was realizing more and more each day that I'm actually amazing and I'm actually lovable and I'm actually worthy. And like, there's so many things to like about myself. Like, even if you're a confident person, even if you know you love yourself, it's just nice to have this as a daily practice and then read through it to remind yourself like, wow, like I am really just so amazing. Number three, this one might be my favorite, self-love music. Okay, so what I need y'all to do as soon as y'all finish this video, uh, but make sure that's after you subscribe and watch the other three episodes. <laughs> create a playlist, a self-love playlist if you don't already have one. Obviously, we have our sad hours playlist, we have our workout playlist, we have our just chilling playlist, but we need a self-love playlist playlist and this is gonna be a compilation of music or songs that makes you feel amazing that makes you feel beautiful that makes you feel worthy that makes you feel like you love yourself all right oh get that degree go girl focus on me i like my attention that you didn't know you had any oh, hold on it's kind of mix it up and get you go on i'm the best I feel it coming for me. What the they gon' say? What the they gon' say? Hey, hey. I love it when my life like this. I said I love it when my life like this. Bro, bro, bro. Rise up, rise up, goddess. Let the world bear witness of your infinite grace. Rise up, rise up, rise up, rise up, goddess. <laughs> But yeah, you don't have to use these songs that I suggested. You can choose whatever song that makes you feel inspired, beautiful, worthy, loved, etc., etc. Choose those high vibrational songs, make it a playlist, and you listen to that every day. And you love yourself more and more each listen. Number four is mirror work. Hello. Okay, so I am very surprised because I used to do this before I even like intentionally took my self-love journey. Literally, every single time I see a mirror or my reflection or a window or whatever where I can see myself, I'd be like, oh my God, hey cutie. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> you look good. <laughs> Even if I look like a bum in a garbage bag, I'm still telling myself, you look good. You the shit. You are that bitch. You look amazing. You look fantastic. You are fly. Like, I really made it intentional, and I really set my goals. Like, for example, before, I wanted a small waist and a flat stomach, right? So no matter what I saw in the mirror, I would always be like, oh my gosh, your stomach is so flat. Your waist is so snatched. Your body looks so good. You have the killer body. You have the it body. You are the it girl. I would always say that. And I was looking through my memories and I was like whoa my belly was flat I did not have no back rolls and my waist was snatched every single day every single day no matter how many times I passed by a mirror passed by a reflection I would always compliment myself I would always hype myself up I would always make myself feel good even when I was depressed even when I was anxious even when I was suicidal <clears throat> when I was suicide, you know what I'm gonna say. Mirror work is real, mirror work works. Even if you don't like what you see, compliment yourself as if you already have the body that you want or the facial structure that you want or the nose that you want or whatever. And then one day you'll actually get it. Now I'm not saying, oh, go in the mirror and say, oh my gosh, your belly's so flat. And then leave the mirror and go have McDonald's every, every night, don't work out, don't walk.
But I feel like when you do the mirror work and you're saying these things to yourself, it's like reminding you, okay, you know what? I have a flat belly. I look down, I don't have a flat belly. So what do I need to do to get a flat belly? Okay, you know what? Maybe I can take my hot girl walks. Maybe I should go to the gym. Maybe I should eat less. Maybe I should wash my calories. Maybe I should have more vegetables. And it's like, you saying that in the mirror every single time is like a reminder. Okay, this is what I'm working for. This is what I want. So this is how I have to behave to get it. It's amazing. Another key point I have is get naked and play music, okay? I don't know about y'all, but there was a point in my life where I was like, oh my gosh, I've literally gained so much weight. I don't like looking in the mirror. I don't like it. But then I saw someone. I don't know where I saw this. It was some post. They were like, my therapist told me to stand in front of the mirror naked and just look. Don't judge, just look. So I stood in front of the mirror. I got absolutely naked. I wasn't sucking in my stomach or nothing. I played some music. I dimmed the lights and I was just dancing, very sensually feeling myself, enjoying myself, playing. Mm -hmm. Let me not say those words on YouTube. I was just really feeling myself without any judgment from anyone, without worrying about someone commenting on my weight or commenting on my stomach or commenting on my rolls or commenting on anything. It's just me, myself, and I with some music and good vibes. And when I tell y'all, I build your confidence to look at yourself in the mirror, to play music, and to dance like nobody's watching because nobody is watching, I hope. I don't know, it's just, it does something. I just need y'all to try it. Even if it feels weird or even if you get like the negative thoughts in your head, like while you're dancing or in the beginning, just just keep going until those thoughts are no longer keep going until you're just having fun in the mirror and trust me this is gonna raise your confidence girl okay okay and my last point stop dissing yourself the fuck oh my gosh okay people like to talk about all the things you have to add to your life to increase your self-love but people forget to talk about what you gotta let go of to increase your self-love so what I'm going to need y'all to do is stop dissing y'all selves, okay? So for example, let's say, I don't know, you, you do something and it causes a minor inconvenience. People would be like, oh, I'm so dumb, oh, I'm so retarded, or oh, I'm so stupid, I'm so this, I'm so that. Drop it drop it just drop it that is not cute that is not good for your mental health and that is like just think about it like this i'm not a scientist or whatever but i have done my research on like neural pathways and affirmations and how it affects the subconscious etc the more bad thoughts you collect and the more you keep telling yourself the same thing the more your brain is going to believe that i don't care if you don't actually think you're dumb i don't care if you don't actually think you're stupid the problem is you're saying it and words are spells the more you say something the more your brain believes it so i'm gonna need y'all to leave that shit alone if you make a mistake, it's okay. You don't have to say I'm dumb. You don't have to say I'm stupid. You don't have to say anything. Just be like, oh, shit, my bad. <laughs> and you move on. That's just it. It may not sound like a big deal, but over time, it's a huge deal. Like the more you say something, the more you believe it. And the more you believe it, the more you act like it. So the more you call yourself ugly, the more you're gonna feel ugly and the less self-love you're gonna have, the less confidence you're gonna have. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, also, I'm going to have to tell y'all to stop dissing your appearance, okay? Whenever you get in the mirror, you gotta understand, you don't be looking at yourself like that. You only look at yourself when you see a mirror or when you're in front of a camera, or in front of your phone camera, whatever the case is. So imagine you have a roommate, right? Every time you're in the living room, you see your roommate and your roommate's like, ew, you're ugly. Ew, you're ugly. Ew, you're fat. Ew, lose some weight. Ew, look at your rolls. Ew, look at your eyebrows. Every single time, how is that gonna make you feel? So how dare you? Every single time you see your reflection, every single time you see a mirror, you're gonna say, oh, I don't like this about myself. Oh my gosh, I need to change this about myself. Oh, I need to lose weight. Oh, I need to gain weight. No! Every time you see yourself, there should be a compliment. Now, I'm not saying ignore all your faults, ignore your flaws, ignore whatever, and don't fix them. But what I'm saying is, if you're going to look at yourself in the mirror, why should the first thing that comes out of your mouth be something that makes you feel bad? How are you supposed to love yourself more if every single time you look at yourself, you feel bad? No! That doesn't make any sense. Stop dissing yourself. Stop pointing out the things that you don't like about yourself. Point out the things that you like about yourself. Maybe you don't like your belly. Okay, maybe you don't like your eyebrows but maybe you like your cheekbones maybe you like your kneecaps maybe you like your shoulders focus on the things that you actually like it is okay to acknowledge the things that you don't like but every single time oh my gosh my nose oh my gosh my jaw oh my gosh my forehead no you're never going to love yourself that way you're never going to love yourself if you're always pointing out the negative or the wrong things about you that's just not how it works you gotta love yourself you gotta compliment yourself you gotta put the effort in every single time you look in the mirror i know we already talked about mirror work compliment yourself make yourself feel good or point out something that you like about yourself stop dissing so the last key point to this chapter is no talking yourself out of compliments. If someone comes up to you and they say, oh my gosh, you look amazing today. And then you say, oh, oh my gosh, gosh, no, literally, I look so tired. Like my bags are so big. Like my shirt is actually dirty. Like, oh my gosh, I wore that outfit yesterday. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Stop that. Stop diverting from compliments. Stop doing that. When someone gives you a compliment, you take that shit. You take that shit and then you add it to the piggy bank in your head of good thoughts. Piggy bank in your 
your head of why you should love yourself. Piggy bank in your head of good things about yourself. Like, hello? Shut up and say thank you. Shut up, bro. What is wrong with you? How you over here searching up how to love myself? How do I love myself more? How to have more self-love? How to da 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 And you're not even accepting the little love that the universe is giving you or that God's giving you or that your reality is giving you. You cannot, you cannot reject every single compliment and expect to love yourself more. You take those compliments and you run with it. You take those compliments and you put it inside your head. Put it in your head. You are that girl. You are that boy. You are the shit. You are powerful. You are creative. You are stunning you are beautiful you are fit you are fresh you are fly like hello accept the damn compliment and now we're gonna do a little recap okay so boom self-love habits writing your self-love letters okay making a self-love playlist okay doing that mirror work okay and lastly stop dissing yourself that was a good episode. I hope that you guys actually, of course, full storage. Anyways, I hope you guys actually genuinely take what I've said in this video and actually apply it into your life and actually see the results because this is everything that I used to do. And literally, my confidence has raised, my self love has raised. I actually do love myself for real. But every day, it's a work in progress. Not every day you're gonna have the same level of self love for yourself, and that's totally fine. Okay, but apply these habits. Let me know how it goes. Leave a comment down below. If you like the series, hit subscribe and watch the last three videos because if you like this one you're gonna like those ones my name is electro you've been watching with and i'll see you in the next episode bye